Who goes there? Speak your name. I am Leonard Risi Ryman, sworn sword of the Knights of Almorica. I come before you a humble servant of the great Duke Ronway, esteemed leader of the Wallister. I shall announce your arrival. The Dark Knights make their fastness here in Fidak Castle. See her soaring white walls? No wonder they name her the Swan. But beneath her outward beauty is a nearly impregnable fortress. Be glad we are not tasked to take her. We have looked for your arrival, Sir Leonor. You bring word from the Duke? I do, my lord. No doubt you've had a hard journey. Come, rest within our halls. Good nights. We find your Duke's proposal most intriguing. Have you an answer? Perhaps you'd best ask my lord directly for that. Sir Lancelot is here. In this castle? Greetings, brave knights of the Wallister. I am Lancelot Tartaros. Leonard Risi Ryman of Almorica, if it please you. You have considered our proposal? <laughs> You waste no time, do you? I like that. I do have an answer for your duke. Tell his grace that his struggle with the Galgastani is of no concern to his eminence Abuna Branton. Nor is it any concern of ours. The knights Los Lorien remain and shall remain neutral on the matter. My thanks, sir, for your swift response. Our lord will be much pleased. Indeed. Yet I must ask, do you really believe you could defeat Galgastan without our aid? Defeat Galgastan? Surely not. But such was never our intention. All we want, all we have ever wanted, is to fashion a peace with them. The Galgastani are a proud people. Were it to come to light that we sought foreign aid, it would endanger the position of those Galgastani who seek an accord as we do. So, your duke does not want to anger his neighbors by placing his problems in our hands. Buckram could stand to take a lesson from him. I... I did not mean to suggest... No matter. We of Lotus place much upon a man's honor. I can understand why your duke would disdain the Buckram way, enjoying a life of leisure while others do their dirty work. As you say, sir. Forgive me, but your henchmen are so youthful. I feared you wanted for seasoned men. Though they may be young in years, my knight's skill in battle is no lesser for it. Indeed. They freed his excellency and routed the Galgastani at Almorica. Moreover, it was they who came to my aid in Chrysaro. Without their intervention, I would not be here today. Ah, so these are the heroes of Goliath, then. Uh, forgive an old knight his errant tongue. I say, have we met? No. Not as such. That is... That is what? Speak plainly. That night in Goliath. It snowed for the first time in years. The sweep of flakes over the harbor. The bitter cold. You were there. Mind your place, Kashua. Have you forgotten why we are here? He's right, sister. This isn't the time. This conflict is larger than us now. Ah, the torching. You would have been children, of course. Aye. We attacked that night on word that elements of the Resistance lurked in town. 
false word, yes. I remember it well. As do you, clearly. We were in error, though I hardly expect forgiveness on that count. Still, I can but apologize for all it will do. <clears throat> Enough of this. The Duke awaits our return. Oh, I'd hoped to speak at greater length. Forgive them. Uh, forgive us, good sir. We'll be taking our leave. Was that entirely necessary? You recall Hoberim? Uh, my brother? Aye. He was a staunch ally in a fight. Why? Nothing. Only the brother and sister just now. Hmm. Put me in mind of him and you. a familiar face. set aside your own enmity for the greater Wallister good. Such loyal service will not be forgotten. Would the time afforded you more rest, but I must ask you to leave for Balmamusa at once. Balmamusa? That lies in the territory the Galgastani allotted for Wallister rule, no? Wallister rule? <laughs> Camps where our people are forced to live in squalor. It was a mining town once. Coal. Now our kinsmen are herded there like cattle. Some 5,000 labor in Balmamusa. Slaves in all but name. The conditions are horrific. Scores die by the day. Then it falls to us to free them. You could never free 500, leave alone 5,000. No. You are to incite them to revolt. An army 5,000 strong. There for the taking. In truth, we cannot stay our course and hope for victory. We are far outmatched. However slight, we must tip the scales in our favor before Gulgastan strikes. If all goes well, our bid will widen the rift between Balbatos and his enemies at home. He can scarce dispatch troops here before silencing the cries of dissent within his own ranks. This is our chance. There will be those in Balmamusa with no stomach for fighting, and others who would sooner leave things as they are. Your task will be to win them to our cause. They grow weary of fighting, else they would rally more readily. I can think of none better to wake their slumbering heroism than young heroes such as yourselves. I shall follow at the head of a separate file, bearing arms for them. The Golgastani hold the lands west of Tyna. Dame Ravnus will go with you in support. My sword is yours. Much rests on your young shoulders. I pray for your swift return.
I'm counting on you, Leona. Do not fail me. No need to worry. Our plans proceed apace. <laughs>